In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to create WordPress website using Bluehost. This is a complete step by step tutorial and if you have never built your website, this video is for you. First thing you need to do is sign up for a Bluehost account. To do that, click on the first link given in the description below. Click on get started now. If this is your first time creating a website, you can go for the basic plan. You can host one website for as low as $3.95 a month. Once you have selected the plan, you can choose your domain. Your domain name is the URL of the website. Now great thing about Bluehost is you get this domain 100% free. So by signing up and using Bluehost for hosting services, you get your domain absolutely free. So let's type in your domain. Once you are done, click next. So now, let's fill in the account information. Then you can select the account plan if you want for 12 months, 24 months or 36 months. If you wish, you can deselect the package extra. So once you have filled in all the information, you can go ahead and click on submit. So once you have created the account, you will be on this dashboard. So let's go and add a theme. Go to appearances and then select themes. Now here you can see a lot of options for you. Just go down and select add new theme. Let's go to popular and uh, select one of the themes. Uh, I'll go with the Astra. Click on install. Once it is installed, just click on activate. So now we will go to settings. Here we will change the site title and the tagline. Once you are done, you can go down and just click on save changes. So now you are on the dashboard page, let's go and visit the website. As you know, we have not done anything yet, so this is a part of the theme that comes along. Uh, let's customize it. Let's go to header and make the page look beautiful. Here you can add your images. Since I have already added, so I will select from the media library. Typography allows you to change the font size.
as you see, we have desktop, tab and mobile version available. So you can go in each and customize the font, the sizes as per your requirement. You can go in each of the options and explore more features. Now let's see how to change the font style, the colors of the themes etc. Once you have made the changes, click on publish. Now let's go to dashboard and add a new blog post. There are a lot of widgets that you can add. You can explore each one of them and use them as per your requirement. Click publish once you are done. So these are all the blog posts that I have created. So now we will go ahead and create some pages. Creating pages is very similar to creating blog posts.
these are the pages that I have created. Now let's go to the site and have a look. So here you can see the pages and here you can see my blog post. If you need a photo for your post, go to the post and select the image that you required as a featured image. Now let's explore some more options which will be helpful to you. Here you can modify the sidebar as per your requirement. Similarly, you can modify the footer. Last thing I would like to show you is how to create menu. Go to appearances and select menu. You can name the menu anything you like. You can create menus as well as sub menus just by click and drag. Do not forget to click the checkbox primary menu.
Now let's see how the menu looks in desktop, tab and mobile version. Now let's type in the URL and see how the site looks. If you see coming soon page, you can go to the dashboard, click on the coming soon tab and click launch your website. Now let's refresh and see. So now we have a WordPress website up and running. Thank you for watching our video. If our video was helpful, please hit thumbs up.